Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. The process of artificial insemination for trout fish breed. The annual spawning season of salmon takes place from May to July. Maturation time depends on temperature and light during culture. When the brood stock has reached the spawning period, the technical staff will move the fish from the aquarium to the egg and sperm collection area. Taking the eggs, gently stroke the abdomen to push the air out. Eggs are collected in pots, kept dry to wait for fertilization. Collecting male fish sperms also uses the method of swiping directly by hand into a dry pot or sucking into a test tube through a plastic tube inserted into the anus of the fish. When exposed to water, the egg size increases by about 20%, the eggshell membrane becomes stronger. This is a slide invented by Vetmarker company for the purpose of earmarking, toenail trimming, tail trimming and vaccination. The sheep are put into Vetmarker where it can be done easily making them less stressful and less troublesome for the farmers. The straight rollers in a deep V help prevent the lambs from getting their legs stuck or escaping. Trimming sheep's tails to avoid hygiene problems long tails often stick to droppings and attract flies, trimming hooves helps them avoid infections or foot rot. Today, with the great advances of science and technology applied in life, jobs such as slaughtering cattle for meat also become more convenient and humane. Medium and large slaughterhouses use electricity to anesthetize pigs for slaughter. Then they used the robot to cut the pork with the most advanced saw available today. It's the Attic AMBL 500 with full auto and perfect split effect. In particular, it uses a special split axe that loses the least amount of meat when cutting. Along with that is the ability to perfectly separate the bones from the pork. First, an ultrasound will be performed to see if the caviar is large enough to be harvested. Once harvested, the ovaries are gently rubbed on the iron nets to help separate the eggs. Next, the caviar will be washed through cold water many times to filter out impurities and broken eggs. The next step is salting caviar with a salt ratio of 3.5% by weight of caviar. Salt helps to bring out the flavor, harden the eggshell and increase the shelf life. Finally, canned the caviar is evenly distributed with a little bit of pressure to prevent air from entering. The Maxima 2.0 highlights the latest technology in breast meat deboning. This new breast cap deboner is able to debone up to 3000 breast caps per hour and produces single fillets. Product is very well suited for tray packing, requiring minimum trim as well as displaying perfect presentation. The machine offers a solution for deboning single fillets in an extremely in the salmon farming industry, quality control of fingerlings is always strictly implemented. Along with that, the prevention of diseases on fingerlings is also focused. That's why they use an automatic vaccination machine called Scala Mascon. The machine has a fish-like path with a steady flow of water. The stream of water will deliver the fish to the anesthetist with a constant amount of anesthetic. Anesthesia machine consists of two chambers continuously working. After anesthesia, fish continue to be divided into compartments with controlled weight. On the way to the vaccination area, the system will classify fish into three types by weight. These are weight classes from 50-150G and are decided by the operator. The camera system controls the vaccination units, adjusting the injection point and depth for each fish. Injection accuracy is up to 98% and small, deformed fish will be eliminated. After the injection, the fingerlings will be released into the recovery room.
For over 40 years, Morel has been helping whitefish processors around the world use better raw materials. Whitefish meat products all meet food hygiene and safety and ensure the freshest. With modern lines, the machine can sort the weight of gutted fish at a speed of 110 fish a minute. After the head is removed, the staff will fill it and remove the bones. On each line, there are from 30 to 40 people busy with fish fillets. They carefully filter the fish meat and remove the skeleton. The fish meat after being filtered out will be washed with water to remove the The fish meat will then be checked one last time by the staff to make sure the box Then the fish meat will be taken to the packing area according to the fixed weight and pushed to the place of takeaway to check the weight. The quality of sausage products depends on the input materials. Meat must be fresh, of high quality, with an appropriate percentage of lean fat and of good adhesion. The manufacturer carefully controls the mixing of meat and other ingredients to create the desired characteristics for a particular sausage recipe. Choosing the right seasoning and seasoning is equally important. Spices must complement each other to create a product that satisfies consumers. A suitable amount of opening will increase the ductility and smoothness for later shaping. The puree process plays a very important role in the pasteurized sausage production process. If the grinding process is not good, it will be difficult for the kneading process. Meat and ingredients are now put into a meat grinder and ground thoroughly so that the spices are mixed together. When the seasoning is fully mixed, we will get a very flexible and smooth emulsion, then we will bring the mix. The closed farm model from production to packaging is quite popular in the world. Costa Mello Farm is an example with the main product being lemons. After harvesting, the lemons are transferred directly to the packing factory. Then workers will fill them up in big baskets for cleaning and sorting. Workers sort and remove damaged and bad fruits before putting them in the cleaning machine. 